For song with any rapper in New York City when it come to June, man. Yeah, for, but what I said earlier about Sierra and Ashanti, I got the facts here in New York City. This <laughs> week, Sierra sold 50,343 copies. She has a total of 1,318,212 copies. Mm. Sold on her new project. And Ashanti this week sold 18,616 copies. She has a total of 715,462 records. Wow. This is an indication of the damage that is being done. You stand next to Ja, you're going down. Yeah. See? It's not even me. I never said anything bad about Ashanti. I told her cut sideburn. She did it. I can appreciate a woman that listens. <laughs> it's at 97. <laughs> Wow, Jaws did, did 8,000 records this week. He did 8,213 wow. records. <laughs> Cruise. He sold a total of 586. James Cruz is going to computer getting all the information. And 25 records. These are facts. <laughs> it's a, it's under a the co- bus. It's a collective. It's a collective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's collective. He threw him under the bus. Right? I know so all he threw him under the bus. It's a collective. <laughs> It's an unsigned artist. You know, you got so many people out there competing to be a part of the music business. When you get a record deal, they feel like they've accomplished something that, you know, that they've actually made it because they get a record deal. That's not actually what you're after. You're after what comes with being successful as an artist. After you sell records, you got to associate yourself with the right people, work with the best possible people in the music business, try to make as many connections as you can, and, you know, make it work for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go in and, uh, Get next to his, you know, his the thing. You're trying to make it, you know, don't go to Murder Inc. It's not going to work. 50's yeah. not going to let it happen. Or Terror Squad. While I'm in position. Yeah, yeah, let me do the talking right now, please. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> just let me talk. It's at 97. Stop. 50, man. He wants to me to just do everything. He's like, why are we not shooting? So, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't understand. I love when I mean, we're supposed to be shooting by now. So, game. Yeah, but I wanna I wanna go through like, man. Yeah, I'm so disappointed. I, I'm gonna say I'm the second person that probably seen every beef to ever live because Chris Lighty has seen every beef from KRS and 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 and, and Shane because he hit the clubs then. Yeah. I was I was really little. You know, I, did I ever tell you so he's been Chris Lighty for a job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh-uh. I don't wow. Chris Lighty for a job. Okay, I just wanna. Nah, he helped me out though. Yeah, Chris. Chris Lighty Jessica got my first record deal. Wow. Yeah, I'm 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 focused. So I'm, Wow, you said Jessica. Jessica. Yeah, oh, Jessica. Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Oh, yeah. Jessica. Yeah. And I'm gonna throw Jessica under the bus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Same Jessica got me my first record deal. So now I've I've seen most beefs. Yeah. Because Chris seen more than me. I just want to acknowledge him on the beefs. So I have never seen a rapper mm-hmm. beefing with Three, I mean, I thought it was three. It's probably five or six. It's cre- growing. Credible rap dudes on a record, and someone on his label. This is yeah. a first for me. This is like, crazy. I mean, <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm, I'm really disappointed. What was the first thing that Game may have said to make this uncomfortable, where you felt different about him? Yesterday, you know, when he got on the radio. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was Saturday. He got on the radio and he you said You tapped him in the vibe, though. You tapped him. You was no, that was the truth. <laughs> it was the truth. He was getting dropped. He was being dropped from Aftermath Records, man. They asked me, why Why else would they let me 
be a partner on a record that they had signed for two years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Creatively, they got stuck in the mud with it, and I came through and helped the car move. That's it. We came. I worked on every record this guy's put out to date commercially. But mm -hmm. I mean, but I mean, like, okay. So I'm I'm gonna tell you what I I've been I heard in the street. Yeah. Banks, I heard you and him wasn't really moving good together. That's 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 what I heard. He don't move like we move. He's not the same as... And that, 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 that's what I was the beginning of, of yeah. it being funny. It feels funny to them because they're like, yo, he don't listen. Like, you know, he's just doing things. You so, know what I mean? And then people, when, when, when this album came out, there were people who called and asked how come I believe your name wasn't shouted... On the, album. on the credits. Yes, and that and that's yeah. and not that he said anything. I think it's a rapper thing because Banks is lyrical. Like he's probably the most lyrical artist. I'm a beast. On G Unit, I'm a beast. <laughs> yeah, that's straight New up. York City, I'm a beast. And, and because of that, you know, I think he has issues with that. Cause I, <laughs> I'll say that clearly. You know what I'm saying? With me, I make I'm a great songwriter. I make good records, mm -hmm. and my records perform the best. So, so that's while we look, our formula comes. So, 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 yeah. so Banks, did you and him ever bump heads or something? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Or, or it's, it's there different that, words or just creative nah, rapper like, thing? We we fall under a certain umbrella, man. We follow suit, man. I don't care if Fifty dish your mom's. It's it don't matter if he's 120% wrong. I'm, I'm with him, period. That's, it, that's how it goes. You go. know why? Because they did that. Look, they had individual that's offers love. for them, you know, separate deals that they didn't take in order for this to happen the way it is. Because I've seen that before with Wu-Tang when the, the group set, separated and it didn't, ultimately in the end, it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. And now, you know, I kept everything together and everybody's rich. That's even why when me and Banks is out on the road, we still put Tony Yale's money up for him while he was in jail. Mm -hmm. He came home. He's in a great financial space. It makes everybody have a, a better work ethic. They you know that their habits. You hungry? He he's watching banks. I didn't understand it when it was going on. I'll be honest. With yeah, like I, I didn't like to to see it now. Now I understand. Nah, you know when what they went overseas? He went overseas. He heard the people screaming "game," and he came back and he just he bugged out on us. Like it's too much for him. But the the bank like. I don't even know. I, I don't even. That was, I can't go. I'm going back to. I'm saying that was kind of. That was weird too. Like, that was that weird was that he kinda, missed that. That was kind of early. No, but but what was it that made you guys realize that you felt he wasn't moving in the same way you now, guys? Well, he were was. Moving? They've been dancing to a whole nother beat. You know what I'm From saying? From day one. Yeah, because he got you know he got different separate management and he got a lot of. Uh, you know, other people pull, pushing well, and pulling them Dre in different directions. Well, Dre had to directions. have this conversation. It's Hot 97, 50 Cent, Tony Yayo, Lloyd Banks, Olivia. Yeah. Now, so, at Dre at some point had to bring this project to you. Right. And say, well, we're going to, I would like you to do We'll do it together. Okay. Now, did you hit me, Did you meet Game before he, Dre talked to you? Yeah, I, Game was actually in, in the club video. He was, he'd been down for two years ahead of them coming to me with it. Wow. Like, he was there for a long time okay. in the studio. And then it was like... You know, so he he was with Dre. Be, he was with Dre, signed to Interscope before but, you were yeah. even signed to the aftermath label. Interscope. Before you even met. No, Dre. right after my album went out, they signed him as the next thing that they would do. After, and he sat after, there for that two years while Banks for album went on sale, Buck album went on sale, Bank for Mercy went on sale. He sat there and still couldn't complete the record. Okay. So they asked that I would work with him. When I went in and worked with him... So before you worked with him, this project would have came out Aftermath, Interscope, yeah. and Dre. Yeah. Okay, so you decided to go in and, and, and put this yeah, project on Yeah, I thought it was a good unit. idea to do the record. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you look at his album outside, there's six records on the album that I wrote. It's Hated or Love It. The first three records he put out, I'm on them. West Side Story, How We Do, Hated or Love It. Those are the three singles to date. So every record that he's selling is based on me being on his record with him. His album Do is my feel, EP before my LP. But but was there a point where you felt he was being ungrateful about this? Or yeah, he wasn't, that's what. Like, like that's like, what I'm, I'm, I mean, like that's there, why that bugged me out. Like, cause I'm like, man, and I overextended myself to him because he was the the person that I uh, I sat down and, and actually he's been in my house. Okay, I don't know what the inside of Dr. Dre's house looks like. Mm -hmm. I, I brought him there and, and sat there and made the records that he had. A lot of those records, I muted vocals. I had already wrote those records. Mm. I muted my vocals and said, go ahead, you know, this we're going to get your joint done. Let's get this, you know, because I put it on deck and get this off before I come with mine. You know what I mean? Mm. And for him to turn around and, and say those things, that disrespectful, I'm like, man. But now, where did he say, but I know he came up here Saturday, but before Saturday, yeah. what was what was said? Not much. It's always... Like, 
there'll be things that float in the street, things that they, you know, that there's a problem. He mentions a time, because the writer and Vibe had asked you about it. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it was on Angie's show or it was definitely on the station. He had mentioned that sometimes, as a, as a crew, as a team, things happen, and there's maybe argument shoving or pushing. See, we ain't never... I guess that's see. In all honesty, this is this is the real talk right here in New York. We ain't never had no pushing and shoving match. Mm. That's entertainment. He said that the first time, and I answered that I was trying to follow up with him, and and not make him look crazy by saying it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Because he says a lot of things and then turns around and takes it back. You know what I mean? Like he says what he said about Jay Z to make him attack him. Then when he does it, he says, "Nah, I ain't do that." The night that that happened, I said, "Wait, let me get on the phone." He called me from Amsterdam. He did say. It. I said, let me get on the phone with Jay-Z and find out exactly what's going on. I get on the phone, see if it, if it's, you know, serious or like that. Me and Jay never actually made contact, but the information came back. that Jay was like, nah, I was, you know, I was tapping him a little something light to make him know that I will, you know, if you keep going. And I said, oh, thanks, good looking, because you didn't destroy the money right there. You could have just got rid of him. You see what I'm saying? Real easy like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not established to that point. He still got to make records on his own. He hasn't made anything by himself yet. They bought that record based on material that they heard with me and him on. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And now, like, when Jay comes, after after that, he fades. He does the issue. He had the issue with Joe Buttons. Okay. They go back and forth. This is from him just being outside of the camp. I mean, but, well, now, we're not working with everybody else because we know they have feelings towards us at that point. Now, is that, it's our 97 funk, like 50... Tony Ayo, Jin Yoon in the building, Olivia Lloyd Banks. Now, is that was that an issue, the artist that he was working with and doing stuff with? Yeah, he because he went off. He like look, look, while Dre, while we were still trying to figure out what his first single was going to be and what his first look was, he went off and he did a, a joint with um, Jimmy, mm -hmm. the Dipset. You know what I mean? And the, the record was cool. Dre sat there. Dre hadn't even know he didn't even know that the kid shot a video. Oh, okay. I played the video for him for the first time. I said, look, you in here working trying to figure out what the single is, and your man's already out on the yard, and they're promoting this on Koch. You see what I mean? So while we talking about putting together a big marketing plan and making this an event, we just put it out like this. That's what we did. You know what I mean? And while it, I mean, for me, with Dre, I, I don't know where Dre stands on the situation. You know what I mean? Has he talked to you about What's been going on with you and Game? No, nah, I haven't even communicated with them about it. They've been calling, and it's going like crazy. They call them. And they figure the things that I say to the general public at this point, mm -hmm. just telling them the facts, the truth, or destroy the perception of Game as an artist. You know what I mean? And it's the honest to God truth. If I ain't write the six records, you know what they did? They even overlooked records that I wrote on the credits mm -hmm. to make it look like I didn't write the records. When you say they... Yeah, I say well, it, I'm talking about Aftermath staff. They dealt with the credits. Okay. You see what I'm saying? They wanted to make it look like he wrote special. Like Church for Thugs. Like, you know, those th these records are records that I created the chorus to. Mm -hmm. before. So once I give you a direction, I should leave you in the room. If you can rap, period, you can come up with something decent enough around that. It's at 9750. I noticed in Vibe, because this is the most recent thing that I have yeah. to compare to. In Vibe, they had said that um that uh or he he had asked you about the label and and you had said kind of like you felt maybe they were moving your project back a little bit or moving your project around to not be around the game project. Yeah, I was getting shifted around. You know what I'm saying? That the success of Give It Your Die Trying is is not enough to uh, make the building not see the possibilities of having other things be successful around it. Mm -hmm. So they look at it, they know they got a great record. Jay's been working on it for two years. He's saying it's ready. All right, let's, let's make this work. Mm -hmm. That's why I put Disco Inferno out myself. Enscope is reactive. Then they reacted to it and was like, oh, man, we got to catch up to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how you I end up with a record number one, two, and number three at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because they, like, they would have sat there and go, are you sure, 50? Are you sure? You know, like... Do you think Game has... A problem with the relationship that you have with the rest of the team. I think it's he has a problem. I think he has a problem with my position. I think he'd like to be Fifty Cent, like the head of the situation. You know what I mean? And he's trying to create his own circle with the you know the Black Wall Street thing. And he has he has my blessings. I didn't say anything bad about that. I want them to grow as fast as they can. 
mm-hmm. at the fastest pace because who looks bigger when that happens? You know what? To, to be technical, I make more money off his record than he does. Yeah, that's the honest to God on, honesty. And even on the publishing it. Be clear. Because I'm getting, I'm at a full rate and he's at a three quarter rate. You know, he's still on a brand new artist deal right now. He has to mm-hmm. adjust it in order to get into the space that I'm in right now. Has he, has, have you two tried to sit down or talk about it? I haven't or? even had a conversation with him, but there's no need for communication after so you've you, been that disrespectful. So you, this is unfixable. This is it. This is it. This is it. I it's mean, gone. It's just I, like... When he was here Saturday, he said he was going to make a record with Nas. How would you feel that's like That's what I'm talking about. He's gone. He might as well go do his record with Nas, Jada Kiss, anybody else that'll stand next to him at this point. Get him to get on the hook. You know? Do you see him the way you, same way you see Ja Rule? Not, not the same way I seen Ja Rule. I just... Fat I Joe? Felt like, I felt like it Jada? Was, Nah, then it, the, I, look, Fat Joe and Jada, because let me explain something to you. New York City. No, nah, I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to take you there to go hard. I was just, yeah. <laughs> I was just, no, no. I was just getting you a comparison. No, no, I was no. just getting you a comparison. It's a, different, it's a total different situation. Okay. I just feel like, I feel disrespected that he would say those things. You see what I'm saying? Like, they know. Everybody that was around him. Tony, mm. Jimmy, these people are standing there. Why are you saying what he's saying? Knowing what I did for the project. You know what I mean? So if they're under... Uh, if they have a different feeling towards what this project is, then they can move forward with it by itself. But don't say G-Unit. You don't have to say G-Unit. I don't get anything when you shout me out when I created it. Mm-hmm. He thinks he does me a favor when he says that. When he says free Tony A. We don't need that. We've been doing that for three years. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you don't have to say that. I mean, do do his. he has to go on his, his own and be... What game is? He has to he has to establish himself on his own. But on this remix, record right here, on the remix of that record on the album, he did love it. I felt his verse. Yeah, it, it it felt like he was giving a little bit of a message, or you know what it is? He did that. I didn't even ask him to change his verse. Mm-hmm. I left my verse exactly the way it was. I added Banks, Tony Yayo, and Buck to the record, and when they went, we sent it back to Dre to mix it. He had him come in and change his verse. I would have advised him not to mention DC. I didn't understand. Uh, it was a little incident with, with a DJ, a Radio 1 DJ, and they, they was getting ready to Correct. ban his entire record know, from okay. Radio 1. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I would advise you not to mention DC. I don't care what that does for shock value. The general public doesn't know what that is. That doesn't make you, you know, like you hard because you got in a fight with a, a DJ, per, a radio personality. Mm. Come on, man. These are the people that need to play your records. If you watch, I watch people threaten DJs. Don't play that. The G unit, you know what I'm saying? G unit music when it comes on. And then they don't realize they got a record coming out. <laughs> you need the same person you just threatened to show you some love now. To play your record. You see what I mean? So it, it, it makes zero sense. Like, I mean, maybe I'm I just maybe rappers are stupid. Like all of them are just <laughs> stupid. Like good. disgusting. Like that that's why we, it's hard to talk in the offices. At like, Jay Z, that's a step forward for all of them. Do you feel like the- the artists, when you get into it with the artists or is it the, the records and you do the things, do you feel like a lot of these artists weren't really doing for you when you were when you were coming through? Did you feel like it, it, they, they, you weren't able to get into the door? You can't. Like, in New York City, you got you know how many rappers we got in New York City? That's why it's so bad. That's why I, I always say, I get on the radio quick, fuck New York City. Mm. You know why? Because everybody's a critic. If they don't have what it takes, they think their man is nice. My man is ill. You know what I'm saying? He's better than Banks. He's better than Young Bug. He's better than 50. Oh, you heard what he said last night? Say that again, son. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This is what they're doing. I'll keep it real, too. I, I'm so exhausted with that type of talk in the nightclub. It's just about Yeah, yo, yo, let my man, let my man spit something. You know what I'm saying? This is what they're talking about. <laughs> Tell how they do this in the club all night, man. Yeah, ah, exhausted. exhausted. I know you get it. Yeah, it's crazy. So, I mean, for me, when I look at that, and I don't say, you know, forget New York City, period. I love New York. It's where I'm from. It's just hip-hop in New York City. It's, it's different. It's so many Chiefs and two little Indies, man. It's, it, we need to, either they could, you know, see that it's more lucrative to do business. It's a billion dollars a year being made in hip-hop as a John Dunn music. Mm. And I'm not touching 500 million. I got a problem with this, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm for real. I got a problem. So I, now I got to keep putting new artists on deck. If I got to move some crews in order to fit some new crews in, 
Excuse me. Anybody? I, I mean, uh, it's not 97 for Flex. I know everything is going on with the artists now. I mean, is there any other artist tap dancing or kind of to, to tap new light or look like they want to get it? No, I, I heard something about Cassidy. Yeah, me too, man. I heard something about Cassidy. What? I already said something behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? <laughs> nice. Because it, No, listen, look. Because it was behind the scenes, I'm not even going to do it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, know that I'm aware. You see what I'm saying? I'm, full, I'm well aware. And, they, you know, I mean, they, his situation ain't really even off yet. It's not really off. Mm -hmm. If he feels like it's that good, then he should, he should shoot a shot and not show him what it is. For real. You know what I mean? And and that's... And, I don't I mean, mean to that. ask you, 50, because, I mean, since we're getting on the subject, I mean, should I ever move on the wrong side? Do you feel like you're going to have to put that gun? Like, you stop looking at me, Fit. <laughs> stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Thanks, man. I'm trying to listen. Chris, you saw stop looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ever say that I made eye contact with Flex when he asked this. I mean, do you feel like you ever might have to, you know, if I'm moving the wrong, stop looking at me again? Nah, yeah, listen. <laughs> <about it. laughs> you ever, I mean, you I might get, have, I receive a lot you of ever thought of, You ever thought about it? Nah, that I might have to get nah, a flex? Not the DJs. Not the, you know why? Because I need you. You know how important the DJ is? No, but I'm with me. <laughs> really flex. I, I need you, baby. I, I need you. You think they're not listening? They're not listening to on on every show the way they're listening right now. That was a good segue. You know what I'm saying? And for me, the general public. I'm get looking to at Yo Yo too. Yo yeah, like flex. If you step step out, <laughs> and he still have a oh, we're gonna tap you. <laughs> Don't think that we won't. Flex, you my man, man. Oh shoot. <laughs> It's at 97, Funk Flex 50. Why, wow, it's an interesting show, man. You won't call, you won't talk to 50. Call him up when they yeah,